Hey, my beautiful Capricorns, welcome to your September reading. I hope you all have had a good Labor Day and your September is starting off with a bang in a good way. Um, welcome. If you are new here, welcome back. If you've been here before, my name is Priscilla Bernstein. I'm a soul alignment specialist and I'm here to help you alchemize every area of your life to be in alignment with your soul. If you would like to work with me, you can do so um, via a reading or a session, or I have one-on-one -on -one group or group coaching all on my website. You can check that out below. And I'm now doing extended readings on my Patreon. So be sure if you want a little bit more out of this reading to head over there. All right, this is gonna be Capricorn's September reading. So let's see what is in store for you, my beautiful caps. What is in store for my Capricorns this month? Ooh, you guys got a lot. We have the King of Swords upright, the High Priestess reversed, the Queen of Cups reversed, and the Ace of Cups upright. All right, starting off with a bang in a good way. Uh, what is the lessons that my Capricorns are learning this month, please? Ooh, the Nine of Pentacles, love that. And what is the spiritual guidance? Ooh, thank you, Spirit. We got the Artist Upright, the Three of Cups, and the Four of Swords Reversed. All right, and the overall energy. Thank you, Spirit. Seven of Swords Reversed. All right, I'm gonna pull some clarifiers now for you all, my beautiful Capricorns. And let's see what these are and we'll get into your reading. Can I get a clarifier for this first stack, please? Rejoice in celebration reversed. Oh, I was asking for a clarifier. I hadn't even said it out loud yet. Passion ignited for that 10 of cups or 10 of pentacles, sorry. Uh, clarifier for the spiritual guidance, please, spirit. Clarifier for the spiritual guidance, thank you. We got fertility and spiritual union reversed. And finally, can I get a clarifier for the overall energy, please? Thank you, spirit. Recognition and reward and transformation both upright. All right, Capricorn, let's get into it. All right, let's see here. Okay, so we have the King of Swords upright, the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups both reversed, and then the Ace of Cups upright with Rejoice in reverse. This is the Three of Cups in reverse here. You guys got the Three of Cups also upright in your spiritual um, guidance or your soul guidance. Um, so that came out twice for you all. So interestingly enough, I think what I'm hearing from spirit right now is there's been a little too much analytical, a little too much logic happening a little, um, this month, I think you're going to kind of be in your head a little bit, but, um, ultimately there's a new start coming, something new, near and dear to your heart. This can be a new relationship, a uh, move into a new place that you really um, love and appreciate. Um, something that's just going to really resonate with your heart is coming, a new offering of some sort, a new, this could be career-wise around what you do and your purpose, um, but it's gonna be near and dear to your heart. And so, what I'm getting really, really clearly with this King of Swords, this is the fastest king in the deck, but he's really quick-witted. He um, is really mind-focused, right? Um, with the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups being reversed here, and then the Three of Cups being reversed, whatever this new... Um, whatever this new, I guess offering is that's coming in you need to not only be pragmatic and practical 
but there's this necessity or need for you to really listen to your instinct and intuition and honor what your heart is telling you. What I'm getting with this um, rejoice in, in celebration reverse is that there's a necessity to not think so much or not be so analytical about everything, but to allow yourself to really be in the feels with it and to be in your heart with it because you want to be able to be really tapped into your joy, into the celebration of life, into all the new things that are beginning as opposed to looking at it as um, almost like a chore or, you know, like something that, that you have to do, right? It's like, no, you get to start anew. You get this new, this new offering, this new foundational start, this new thing that has this very beautiful connection to your heart, but try not to overthink it. Get in tune with your instinct and your intuition and really tap into your heart. Be the queen of cups, be in the receptive mode, be in the joy, tap into your pleasure and the things that light you up and know that this new beginning is um, inception point or precursor for all, for more of that to continue to amplify in your life. Capricorn. And so with that, what you're learning is this nine of pentacles. You're learning how to hold it all, how to hold the relationship, the job, and the work that you've been asking for and wanting, um, the the foundational piece, the money aspect, you know, the way that things come to you. You're learning how to handle it all and how to hold this bigger container in a more balanced way. And so with that, um, your passion is going to be ignited. This is what you're learning, how to live passionately, how to get out of your head. I know so many Capricorns that are so in their head all the time. And this is what spirit is saying is move out of your head and down into your heart, down into your body, get into the feeling aspect of things, and then get into the passion, get into the things that light you up and celebrate those things. Really be in that that um that joy in the ple like pleasure is the path and ultimately peace is the feeling that you want in all of that and you're learning that this month this is a lesson that you're learning how to cultivate and harvest all that you have created and doing so in a really balanced way and then your spiritual guidance we had the three of cups again the four of swords reversed and the artist and then we had fertility and spiritual union both reversed. So interestingly enough, you guys are coming out of this dormancy phase. You're coming out of being at the cocoon. You're coming out of meditation, out of being alone and spending all your time alone. And you're coming out into more interaction, more joyous celebration. You're gonna be getting more opportunities for this. So take it meeting new people, um, expressing yourself in a different way, doing things that bring you pleasure, and you know, tapping into everything as an adventure and less as, like I said, less as a chore or less as like a have to, but instead shifting the perspective to, oh, I get to do this. And with that, you are becoming the artist of your life. You are the creator of your reality and all the ways that you think and you're outputting your energy is creating your reality around you. And so with this, with the lesson of spiritual union and fertility, you all are, If you have been wanting children, if you have been birthing something new into your reality, just know that there's going to be something that's coming in that will help you find this spiritual connection to whatever it is that you are wanting to birth in this reality, whether it is an actual child, whether it is a new um, foundational piece in your life, whether it's a new career, whatever it is that you are birthing at this time. I mean, it could even be a course or some sort of um, thing that you're birthing out into the world. It could be a piece of art, you know, whatever that is, you're going to be guided to the divine union, to the right people. You have to trust in spirit and where you're being led in your higher self, in that inner voice, 
and really attune yourself to your soul and work with your guides and angels work with the divine ask for that clarity ask to be led on a daily basis because remember you're that you're that artist in your life and so if you are just a little precursor or forewarning if you are trying to get pregnant and you're not quite ready for that yet pay attention and be careful use protection because it could happen quicker than you are anticipating um but if it is something that you're ready for just know that divine timing is part of all of it so don't push if it's not happening right away either okay so this divine union that divine timing there's something bigger happening here so trust the unfoldment process of everything that is coming through for you in the timing that it is coming through for you okay and so with that the um the overall energy you're coming out of the seven of swords you're coming out of things being hidden you are seeing things so much more clearly now you're not living in um a guys you are not living in um some sort of not truth anymore you're really coming into your truth and with that you're having a huge spiritual awakening and from that you will be recognized and rewarded big time from the universe and from what is happening in your reality so um just know that what was hidden is now being seen what was kept from you is now being understood you have uncovered the veils and you're coming out of this phase of deception of feeling like the world maybe was out to get you or you know like you're having a huge transformation and with that recognition and reward is coming from that because you're seeing things so much more clearly you're in a new energetic space you have initiated a lot of new things and because of that so many good things are and blessings are coming from the universe and from the things that you have been investing in all right capricorn i'm gonna read or get a oracle message for you now Let's shuffle one more time what oracle message do you have for my beautiful capricorns this month oh thank you spirit Ooh, just threw cards everywhere one went flying really far okay so we have she wolf a light divine feminine and little river so with this little river card things are going to be moving in your life but they may be moving more at a trickle pace as opposed to a flood pace which is good it welcome that in welcome in the little river that is beginning to flow into your life the more that you say yes thank you May I have some more, the more you will get, okay? Don't try to rush it. Don't try to turn the, the faucets all the way on right away. Don't try to like, you know, destroy the dam. Just allow the river to trickle in, to move at its pace and just say, yes, I like this. I like the blessings I'm getting. I like what I'm receiving. Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit. Thank you sky daddy whatever you want to call god or source or energy whatever you want to call it think you know whatever that that bigger energy is that is bringing it into you thank yourself and then ask for more i will take more of this how does it get better what else is possible those types of questions are going to help bring more in for you okay then we have divine feminine you need to be in your divine feminine energy of receiving aka being in the receptive mode this is not about male or female this is about how open and embodied can you be how much can you say yes i want more how much can you receive and open yourself up to that receptive how much more can you open your heart and then find that brain and heart coherence to where you're not always in your head but you're dropped into your body and embodying work also with your inner child that's coming through very clearly do any inner child or shadow work that you're needing to do to continue to open your heart further then we have a light connect to your higher self connect to your spirit guides connect to the realms 
the spirit realms, the ethereal realms, the realms that we cannot see, that we have support on. The more that you are open and grounded, not only in this plane of existence, this reality, this earth, and the more that you are tapped in to all that is, the more that is going to become a light within you and be shared with you. So continue to tap in, tune in, and turn on, my dear Capricorns. And then we have She-Wolf. There is this energy of the necessity to continue to be deciphering, but also knowing that you're following your own path. This has nothing to do with anybody else or what society deems for you. This is about you following your path. And again, it says she wolf, which we're, you know, moving into that divine feminine, trusting your instinct, trusting that, that inner guidance. Remember that, um, where is it? Oh, here, the high priestess. That's what the high priestess is all about. It's about tapping into your intuition, into your instincts, knowing that where you are being led, following your guidance, following where you feel the scent, where you smell the, the thing, you know, where there's food, you know, following your instincts, following the moon and your cycles, getting in tune and in balance with what's happening around you. And when something doesn't feel good, just become the witness to it as opposed to deeming it good or bad or trying to make sense of it or trying to contain it and, you know, put a label on it. Just zoom out and be the witness like, oh, that didn't feel good. What does feel good? Okay, I'm going to head in that direction instead of going and pursuing that not good path or that not good feeling path, right? Okay. So the last card I'm going to pull for you is going to be a moon card. This is going to be the energy that you need to hold for the rest of the month to be able to really sustain yourself and amplify in the best way possible. What is the energy my beautiful Capricorns are needing? Yeah, darkness and change. This is that void or liminal space. That's that new moon energy, right? Um, maybe something around the new moon um, is going to happen to bring this change in closer to the end of the month. But that new moon liminal space of uh, darkness, just know that that's kind of the beginning, right? In the beginning, there was darkness. And on day one, God created light, right? And so just know you're in that phase of creation. You're in that phase of a new beginning. And with that change comes with it. It comes on the back end of that. And we've been in a state of chaos. We've been in a state of a lot of movement. And that's where that um, four of swords, where you've been cocooning and drawing inward, you're coming out of that and you're coming into celebration mode because things are starting to feel better. Things are starting to expand and open up again. You're beginning to see the inklings of light, but you're still a little bit in that liminal space, in the, in the void, in the darkness still. You're like everything hasn't landed quite yet and that's okay. Be okay with the not knowing. And I think too, because you're a uh, uh, earth energy, right? Like that groundedness is really good for you. And so when you're not grounded, it can feel very unstable, very ungrounding, and you want to latch on to something. Be okay in the unknown. Be okay in the darkness. And the more that you surrender to that, the more is going to change around you and align in the way to where you're having the great transformation that you're wanting and getting the recognition and reward that you are seeking. Okay, I'm going to do the extended of this reading on my Patreon. So hop over there if you want a little more. If this was helpful as a Capricorn, um, please share this with another Capricorn. And be sure to watch your rising and moon sign as well to get the full overview of what is in store for the whole month. All right, guys. Peace. See you on the next video.